just as a pre-warning this video is quite a messy one i arrived on location everything was kicking off i didn't really have time to film everything correctly so apologies in advance but i hope you enjoyed the video i've not even locked my car what am i doing what am i doing i don't even know where i put my key Oh my goodness! Where have I put my key? Ah, hang on. There he is. Got you. Lovely stuff. So here I am on a nice little walk. And uh, many of you will be probably wondering, Liam, how do you take such ridiculously amazing shots? And how do you how do you know where these places are? Well, oh, I'll tell you. It's because I work for Forest Street Land Scotland. Um, and being a student is quite lucky me that I get to come out to all these forests around the west coast so I've been tipped off of this location uh, in Appin uh, told to come up onto the hills which you've got a really nice view of the islands and I mean I ain't kidding it's absolutely ridiculous so, uh, so I'll see if I can get some video of some of that ridiculousness what's going on right now to be honest let's have a look Yeah, that light is absolutely kicking off. I'm looking at it right now, and uh, I think I'm going to have to put my camera down. I'm going to find some compositions, because that is absolutely ridiculously good. You see, looking at all the rain clouds coming through, and all the side light coming in just across all the all the mountains and all the uh, islands just across the sea over there. Let's have a look and see what we can find. So I've got a shot lined up here. It's looking all the way out there, and you can see the entire rainstorm, it looks like, over there, catching all of that evening light what i'm going to do i'm probably going to stack a panoramic together i'm probably going to take some vertical shots probably about three four shots vertically i'll take snippets all the way along there and uh, i'll stitch them together and if the shots are any good well here's the shot I literally have just arrived here as well. I've parked my car just up there, just out of shot there. And I'm not one to arrive at location and just get out and start shooting. I kind of like to have a nice little bit of a walk and get a bit of a breather before I start arriving. I feel like I've cheated almost, sort of coming here and all the lights kicking off. But uh, and literally just as I'm starting to talk now as well, I'm looking at some Scots pine just over there. It's been backlit and Scots pine is my absolutely most amazing tremendous tree that I've ever seen. Scots pine and birch, they're like my two favourites. And I'm looking at some now just being backlit. So I'm probably just gonna have to swap lenses again and have a look at these Scots pines just over here. Let's let's uh, let's have a quick look at this. So this Scots pine just here, it's been backlit by the sun and it keeps popping out every now and again. Oh, it's popping out again now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head further up the hill and where the tree line sort of stops and where the hills are in the background, it's not quite giving the the isolation that i really want for that one tree it's breaking it up a little bit even though the the light on the mountains in the background is absolutely glorious what i'm going to do i'm going to head back up the hill i want to get that scots pine there i want to get that and get it to the trees in the left and have it blurred out by the background there so it's nice even lighting all the way through see the lights kicking off already again and i'm going to take it vertically i'm going to head up the hill I want to avoid the larch in the background because that's kind of causing some distraction there. I want to get it where it's just a green backdrop behind with the light just hitting that one tree. And uh, yeah, and if that shot's any good, then here is the shot. genuinely think I've walked about a hundred yards and I've been here for about an hour already because as soon as I arrived the light just absolutely kicked off so I've just been messing about with my camera trying to line up some compositions so I think it is about time that I started to go on a bit of a walk 
Now it's quite funny because in the last video, actually not the last video, a video before I did mention about relaxing and uh, taking your time but as soon as I arrived here, I mean look at the view behind, you're looking towards Fort William sort of going up that way and then back down there you're looking all the way out to all the islands but as soon as I arrived the light was just absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to attempt doing something that I never usually do and well as Nigel Danson says, you know, have an apple. Or if you're out with uh, Gavin Castle, he'll have a, a bunch of twirls. But for me, I've got vehicle tarts. They're a pound, you can't go wrong, can you? Mm. As I see, I've only got four left. Four left, I've eaten four. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the spot. That'll do. I have an orange, but that's not gonna cut it. Sugar. I did say to myself I'll I'll chill out, but come on. I mean look at that. Stupid good. Absolutely just I mean I've never seen anything like it. You've got the castle down there. But to be honest, I mean, it's not really doing much to serve any composition at the moment because I'm too far away. But then you've got all the light just over there, all the different islands, all in the distance. It's just absolutely amazing. I literally can't even sit still. I mean, I've just seen a composition just way far out in the distance where it's got these tiny little islands, there's rain clouds in the back, or there's rain been light, lightly lit by the side of the sun uh, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go that way as you can tell I'm I'm panicking again even though as I said that's uh, that's not what you're gonna do but when the light's this ridiculous what else can you do currently at the moment I'm kind of struggling with what I've got behind me although that is really nice light and everything I'm trying to organize all the chaos of all the islands over there there's not really much separation you've got the castle down there which is not really doing anything you've got the middle big islands all that greenery on it but it's sort of intertwined with all the islands at the back and it's not really separating and giving that sort of nice dynamic to the scene so what i'm going to do i'm going to head further back where i came from where the car is parked because there was a nice sort of s curve which was really nice at the beginning so i'm going to go back there see how the light changes and uh, hopefully we get a nice shot I thought I've had it with all the good light just now and I'm looking back towards the car there's a rainbow like getting a bit of everything today so there's going to be quite a long slideshow at the end of this video with the many 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 panoramics that I've got and hopefully quite nice images as well <laughs> Just as I'm walking back to the car, just like to uh, mention that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. No, it's not really. I'm joking. I'm not I'm not that famous just yet, but uh, Squarespace, if you're watching, cheers, mate. Um, no, this one's being serious actually. So thanks everyone who watched the uh, last video that I made. I can't make videos very often, and this is only the fourth video that I'm making right now. Um, working full time, being a weekend warrior. I get time to go out on the weekends, but even then, you get burnt out so you don't really want to make a video but it's Friday finished early today from work and the conditions are just absolutely perfect nice and frosty this morning so I'm getting out and about making another video and uh, yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying this one but uh 
yeah, we'll see if we can make more like this in the future. I've just arrived back at the car now, and it's all, it's all nearly gone now as the light. Uh, but um, I'll explain why I came back here, uh, just like I just mentioned before about the S curve, which is more appealing to me than uh, than the other location. But the light may have gone, but if the images are good, I'm gonna ping them on screen. Uh, but let me just like, explain what I'm on about. So although this isn't the finished composition, I've just popped the camera down just to explain. This is the S curve, what I mean, where there's gaps in the island and it weaves all the way through. So if I did a sort of vertical shot and take a vertical slice of all of that, it's going to look a bit more better and it sort of leads the eye right through the frame. The light is really nice, but I think it was a bit better earlier, but I will take some shots. Um, and let me know what you think, if you preferred the previous shot or if you prefer this evening softer light shot. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, a very messy one. Again, really sorry about that. I'm going to leave all of the images that I've taken today and do a little montage as I usually do at the end of the video. And let me know what you think. Post any comments below. See what you prefer. Do you prefer the evening shots from earlier or do you prefer these sort of softer light ones that I've just taken recently now? Uh, but as I say, thank you again for watching last week's video. Thanks for watching this week's video and hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you.